I asked my sister to film me for a full day in Montreal. I told her to film whatever moment she wanted, whether I knew she was filming or not, to create the most realistic day in my life I could. This is what she captured. Nobody's experience with Asperger's is the same, and I'm not defined by Asperger's. Don't worry. Want some tea? But this is just a day in my life from a different perspective that I've never really shown before. Bonjour! Good idea last night. I wanted to give the most personal look into my life that I could, Asperger's or not. Throughout this video, I have my sister read questions you guys have asked me, and I answer them as honestly as I can. I hope this video helps you, and I hope you get to know me a little bit better. Wait, say that again? I said I don't know if you film me or not, but I put on lotion two times a day or sometimes one time a day, but every day for certain. And uh, that's one of my things. I've been well lotioned for quite a few years now. <laughs> I'm, not stark in, I'm not stark naked anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you don't even know my routine of doing things. Nobody does, it's very intimate personal. <laughs> I have a very specific routine I, I do every day. This thing is not the one. This thing I'm going to put on a lot of makeup today since we will be taking some pictures for Instagram maybe. This thing has never been cleaned. So, like, I, I have a problem opening and shutting doors. Like, pushing or pulling, I never know. And, um, whoops. And then, uh, so, like, this one I pushed it and it wasn't pushed so it was pulled and then I pulled too hard and I banged my head it was like in this quiet spot uh, 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 and I got huge that's it's just embarrassing you know because like after I got out of the spa too I still almost slipped I was trying so dang it I thought maybe it was clean I was just trying I was just trying to really that's, that's it though. I started using the scar stuff for my acne scars. I was gonna say, you used to be the most private person ever. Before you two. That's what I was gonna say. What? I'm getting your shirt. Yeah. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Probably about like, what do you think? 30 degrees? I can't tell. My French architecture is really cool. Here? Mm -hmm. Filming videos help you feel less lonely at all? Yes. Or is it more alienating? No, it's both, I think. And then when I put things out, it's like people are here with me. When I'm filming, I don't pay attention to anybody around me. Would you feel the same about traveling if you weren't able to document it? To be completely honest, no. Because I think, I think I've realized I see my life just through the lens. It's kind of sad in a way. How do you 
you cope with anxiety other than going to the gym? I sleep a lot. And then sometimes I'll call my mom. How are you feeling today? Can you like give me an example of like different feelings I can be feeling? <laughs> like, like specifically. Are you more pensive or are you feeling anything negative? Any loneliness, sadness, grief? Are you like happy, excited, looking forward to something? Are you kind of in your mind? I think I'm in my mind. I think I'm out of focus with everything. Also just going through something really hard and like kind of just being a little bit numb. So I don't know, I'm just kind of looking. Everything, not everything. <laughs> I just like take off my my jacket and stuff and just get like some cool footage here. Don't forget to buy this bicycle. But I feel like it's gonna get cold pretty quick. Sorry, I will be gonna warm up because I'm gonna. I'd like to do these little slow motion things, but I don't like to have to like pop your clothes on because then you just like like homeless and all your footage. So, so I'm gonna do this quickly. Majestic beast. Port Montreal. Maple syrup. So we're trying to find some poutine. Poutine is, uh, what is it, gravy on fries? Mm -hmm. Go get it. We have found the poutine. St. Vincent's, and we have found this spot for the local poutine scene. It's not very local, they've had like five <laughs> signs saying poutine. So, they're overcompensating. I'm gonna there. look up what is actually in poutine. Do you wanna keep traveling or settle down more? I wanna do both. I wanna like have a place where I can settle down a little bit because I need, I need some sort of stability or some sort of community and then travel from there with someone else. I really just oh, okay. want. What's one of the hardest things you've had to do while traveling? <laughs> Carry my, suit my big suitcases and go through something personal while being alone. How do you cope with having Asperger's? I yeah. feed my obsessions. I kind of sort my life too. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Merci. 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 This is poutine. This is the vegetarian poutine. So I guess this is a cheese curd. We're just gonna go all out today. Anything with fries is good in my book. Mm. It is like, like soup kind of, which is really good. Soup gravy. Take two, how do you cope with Asperger's? I sleep a lot. I. I take a lot of time and you would agree that I kind of just stare off at the wall or stare at my phone or go somewhere where I'm like not present, you know what I mean? So I kind of zone out a lot. And that helps me kind of recharge, even if I'm in a social situation. I'll just kind of go out with myself and I do that a lot. And I also, I feed my, um, my little obsessions because otherwise I, I can't think about anything else. But there, I try to have healthier, Obsessions. This isn't healthy. I'm gonna get a stomachache. <laughs> Up next, Victoria has a really bad stomachache. Would you consider yourself a highly sensitive person? To certain things and to other things, not at all. That's weird. 
since I said you zone in on certain things, I don't notice other things. I hate to rest. We're not allowed to have water here, so. <laughs> We're allowed, I just want to pay for it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not really like I wouldn't come here during the winter if I were you, but you could. I'm just gonna try to ice skate without any ice skates. Why are you running, Tori? Did you meet Bio Bob? I did. What's he look like? <laughs> did you get your own? Quite flustered. <laughs> Makes sense. He's my idol. He's a cool guy. Did you say you're a homebody? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's funny because like, everyone thinks of all adventures and stuff that have 75% of my time is not going out. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't really like have a home, so like I'm always stressed out. <laughs> so it smells like garbage in here. I really have to do the garbage down to do you smell it? Have I washed them since you put them in from the floor? <laughs> Does autism affect your relationship with a boyfriend? Yeah. I mean, the thing about Asperger's is that it affects relationships mostly. It affects your, your ability to have relationships with people. Like with my family and stuff, they've already accepted me, they have to with my family. He said he sold, sells way more whenever his picture's not on it. Uh, okay, you know what? Chocolates! After all the craziness today and coolness, I'm taking absence. What'd you get? Oh, I think this is my wish list. Oh. Some winter wear. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And then I can just go here. Do you wish that your parents got you diagnosed sooner? No. I would have felt like I had a limitation and I wouldn't have pushed myself as hard as I would have, have pushed myself thinking that there's that this is just how everybody is. Do you always have this quiet, calm voice or is it only for YouTube? No, I talk really, I have a really big problem I think with tone. I'll either talk way too quiet for anyone to hear me or I'll just like sound like I'm, I kind of sound mean sometimes, don't I? I don't really know what my tone sounds like, I can't hear it. <laughs> if you could change something about you, what would it be? To be able to have more empathy or understand things more naturally. Or... Do you see an end to your depression? 
I guess you don't really ask that to a depressed person because it's the whole reason they're depressed <laughs> because they don't see an end. But that's depressing to say, so I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Sometimes people don't think I'm ever sad because I think I smile a lot or I laugh a lot. But it's like a nervous thing, you know? Yeah, I do that too. <laughs> yeah, see like, I'm not like exuberantly happy right now, but it looks like I am, right? Yeah. It's weird. Did you have a good day today? I actually did. It was good because like, I didn't think about filming, which is always on my mind. I may not be the person right now that I truly want to be, but isn't that the human experience? Learning who that is? It's okay if you're not perfect, just keep trying and don't get discouraged. Good night.